about child sacrifice that gets re- I see that circumcision seems to kind of replace it in a way it it's becomes one a- of the things yeah so again in the Torah my, my first my doctoral dissertation was on child sacrifice and that was wow. my first book um it's a really tricky topic but yeah basically in in the Torah you get various regulations about it because Yahweh is a fertility god and he wants his cuts of the crop whether it's human or agricultural or animal so that's why you have to give a certain, you know, the firstborn of your flocks and the first fruits of your agricultural crops. And you also, by, you know, same reckoning, owe him the firstborn of your children because he is the fertility god. He has rendered you fertile to have these children, these animals, these crops. Um, so circumcision on the eighth day seems to, which is when you're meant to offer up the firstborn animals and the first crops. Um, circumcision in some Torah texts functions almost like as a substitute ritual that, that means that you don't have to obviously go ahead and sacrifice your child. Um, there are other substitute rituals as well. You can donate the child to the temple. You can pay money to the temple. Um, you can sacrifice an animal um, instead. But it seems to play this kind of apotropaic function. So in other words, it protects from harm. And the harm in this case is Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Enough from me. Um, final plug in terms till we leave the show you must go and get this book okay or yahweh is coming after you you don't even know like it's it's happening and uh i cannot swear by this enough in fact i'm i'm replacing this with my king james bible you you know i've like <laughs> totally like thrown away my bible and keeping this uh this is amazing and we have barely scratched the surface i know it seems like we're pretty much rated r here right now um and that's okay so let's do the super chats if you're okay with that and yeah. uh, Fingers crossed we can get them done within 25 minutes. So here we go. Scott Duke, thank you for the super chat, my friend. Darn it, I have a meeting at this time slot. I'll watch later, but thanks for having Dr. S on today. What I've read so far of it is wonderful. You're not lying. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. (laughs) 